a, a belting tool. gadget, yes. Be very, very careful with this because the needles are dangerous. So this has to be locked. The way you unlock it is by turning that and like that you can use your needles but otherwise it should stay locked. This is wool roving. This is wonderful because this is wool. It does shrink but you can use it directly. The way you do this is that you hold on your, with, your, with your fingers you hold on to that yarn and you pull and you hold on and you pull because you do want the fibers you don't want blocks of it so you go here here and you pull and you do want to put it in different you know alternate yeah because like that it doesn't go into one big glob and it's very nice to make like flowers or something like that and you can make lots of designs there's books on stuff that you can make of course this is mostly fabric and and, uh, and yeah quilts and you know sewing but it gives you an idea of what you can make with uh, with the felting also so i have i have my brush here you can also use uh, you can use different things but here I have my brush and I have my felting tool you have and felt sheets and I have felt sheets but it can do be anything that has Fabric. that your needle can go through mm -hmm. so as long as your Any needle kind of can go through and it's a fabric that you can poke on then it's okay if it's like a a large uh, kind of uh, cotton it'll be okay you can use also pieces of yarn that you have already knitted for example that if you want to have your sweater or any kind of design in your sweater you can also use that to felt on because it goes through See, and you can put beautiful flowers on your knits. We will talk about that too. But let's talk about how the tool works. So let's make believe that I want to make a flower. And I am more or less going to give it a shape. Here. Okay, and I'm going to pull this and have a leaf. So here I have one, and let's say here I have another, another one, another petal. Maybe I need a little bit less on each one. So let's make it like so, and another one like so. It does not need to be. If you want them to be specific, yes, you can. So please be careful with your fingers do not spread them like this put them like this and start poking start poking and here i have a petal You have to do this a lot, a lot, a lot. And then, of course, those fibers, if you want them more specific, you can go there. So now I'm going to put another petal. And I'm going to put it right in there. And I'll poke some more. Make them the shape that I want them to be. And cook some It looks more. like a heart right now. Yes. Because this is Valentine's is coming, so you can do that. You can make flowers that look like Valentine hearts, which is something that we're going to be doing in a minute. And here we have another one. So make sure that look at how see the fibers are going to the back of your fabric. 
so that means this is not going anywhere it's stuck so now we have another petal here and poke on it poke some more they do not need to be perfect because that's the way nature is anyway and let's turn this and we make another petal and we put it there and we poke and poke and poke and now we have another petal and we put it right there maybe we need a little bit more so we bring in some more we put it toward the center and we poke it and poke it and poke it so now I have a flower of course it doesn't look like much because now we're going to put some fibers in there so that it looks nicer and maybe I have a yarn that has a little bit of fibers so I'm going to take those fibers from that yarn and I will put it in there and start putting little designs with the yarn that you already have or cotton. You can do it with cotton also. I'm putting some more fibers in there just to give it a little bit of uh, depth. But now for example you can take cotton, regular cotton and make it little balls, little cotton little beads. Yes. So little beads right there put them in the center be very careful with your hands with your fingers you do not want to poke them you're dead <laughs> and of course you can make several little ones instead of uh, large ones you can make any size tiny little cotton balls <laughs> so now we go there and we put some more of that white. And of course in the center we can put some yellow. Whoops, it went in there. So let's It'll come it out, out at one point. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Ooh, good idea using your needle. There are tools that you can hold your yarn in place with, but um, as long as it's not your fingers. <laughs> so now, of course, you want to go around and you want to do this a lot more. And of course, what you can also do is put some yarn around. Me, please be aware to put. To lock that and these the, the same red one you can go around your petals and make them very very specific defined yes outlined so you can outline with the red or with any other color so you see how that mm. is being done very pretty I kind of like both. I like the fine yes, and fuzzy. Yes, I do. I do. I like the fuzzy, but a lot of people want to have more uh, outlined panels. It almost looks like a painting when it's all fuzzy. Yes, it does. So, of course, we can put some more in there and define my the petal. Careful with your fingers, Joanne. It's in this neat. So, that's an example of how that flower is becoming and you can put some yellow in there you can then of course these flowers that we knitted see these flowers that we knitted 
they can be part of that bouquet. So let's make believe that we want a bouquet and we want a flower there. And this was already felted. So now I'm going to put it there. Grab the back of it. And secure it. Secure it. Let's let's put a needle there just in case because I really don't want to poke my hand. These needles are very dangerous, so you can We are not responsible there. for your fingers. No. I needed to have a disclaimer. We're not responsible for your projects, your fingers. So now I am going to do that a little bit more in the middle. Just to make sure it's going to stay in place. And now you can, I can feel that it's going already going to the other side of the fabric. So you know how deep you're going and how secure it is because it is going to the other side of the fabric. You see, and now of course you can start doing your your design. And we can have maybe a leaf. Of course, I will want to felt this because I really want it to have, you know, be uh, uh, of the right size. But just to give you an idea of the design that this can have, you can have another leaf there. Mm -hmm. 